my students assalamu alaikum i hope you are fine today i am with the very first lecture on nomenclature of organic compounds titled introduction to nomenclature of organic compounds from this lesson we'll try to learn some basic things to name the organic compounds so let's begin my students from this lecture we'll try to learn these points that means hydrocarbons and derivatives of hydrocarbons next point is organic compounds and its number then nomenclature then methods by which organic compounds are named then trivial or common system Geneva or IUPAC system and finally we will try to learn something about derived system. So let's try to learn all the points one by one. First of all hydrocarbons and derivatives of hydrocarbons. Let's consider one compound that is methane CH4. We all know its name is methane. It can be written as this way. This compound is made up of carbon and hydrogen. So it's a kind of a hydrocarbon. So hydrocarbons are compounds of carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons. Our next point is derivatives of hydrocarbon. When from this compound, suppose if this hydrogen is replaced by chlorine, then we will get CH3, CH3 and Cl it is replaced by chlorine if it is replaced also then we will get ch2 cl2 if this is also replaced then we will get ch cl3 if it is also replaced then we will get c cl4 so these are the compounds obtained from hydrocarbon by replacing replacing hydrogen by chlorine. So these compounds are derivatives of this compound that is these are derivatives of hydrocarbon. Again if hydrogen is replaced by OH group then we will get CH3 OH. This is also derivative of hydrocarbon. So now we learnt hydrocarbon that is compounds constituted by carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons and the compounds obtained from or derived from hydrocarbons are called derivatives of hydrocarbons. This and this, the derivatives of hydrocarbons. Our next point is organic compounds. What are organic compounds? What is the definition? The definition is hydrocarbons and derivatives of hydrocarbons are called organic compounds. These are actually organic compounds. Organic compounds must contain carbon, here carbon, here carbon, here all the compounds have carbon atoms. So organic compounds must contain carbon atom. With carbon atom, it might contain hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, etc. Now, our another point is number of organic compounds. In this world, the number of organic compounds is almost 1 crore. That means 10 millions or 
100 lux so it's a great number a huge number of organic compounds now our next point is nomenclature what is the meaning of nomenclature its meaning is a system to name things that means that is in our world there are one crore organic compounds so if we want to learn individually one crore organic compounds it will be almost impossible to memorize the names of one crore organic compounds and that is why some methods are derived some methods are taken to name these huge number of organic compounds and another point we have to learn here word root what is word root let's see now what is word root my students now we will try to learn about word root what is the meaning of word root here let's consider some compounds we should actually memorize these compounds that is ch4 it is methane c2 a6 it is ethane c3 h8 propane c4 h10 it is butane c5 h12 pentane c6 h14 hexane c7 h16 heptane c8 h18 octane c9 h20 nonen c10 h22 decan we should know about the term word root because this word root is very much important to name the organic compounds if the compound contains one carbon atom then the word root is meth we have to study time and again meth and if the compounds contain two carbon atoms then the word root is eth if it is three carbon atoms then prop four carbon atoms then but this is but if five carbon atoms then pent six carbon atoms hex seven carbon atoms hept eight carbon atoms oct nine carbon atoms non ten carbon atoms dec so these are the word roots of these compounds this word root is very much important in nomenclature of organic compounds now our next point is methods by which organic compounds are named now let's go to the methods my students already i have told you that the number of organic compounds is 1 crore almost 1 crore that means 10 millions or 100 lux so it's a great number to memorize this huge number of organic compounds is almost impossible so to study the names of organic compounds some methods are taken so let's see what are the methods first of all trivial or common system secondly geneva or iupac system and thirdly derived system
सो यूजिंग दीज थ्री मेथड्स ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड आर नेम्ड नाउ विल try to learn all the methods one by one so let's learn my students first method is trivial or common system here we will try to focus on only two points first one is source and second is n iso and neo what is source here in this system organic compounds are named according to their source or according to their characteristics for example we can tell here this is ethane how its name is ethane a greek word ethane meaning is start to burn it is a kind of burning substance that's why it is called ethane and our second point is n iso and neo before going to this point we should know about the alkyl group what is alkyl group alkyl group is denoted by r with one hand the general formula of this is cn h twice n plus 1 that means number of hydrogen will be doubled than carbon and another one hydrogen that means if number of carbon is 1 hydrogen will be 3 if it is 2 then hydrogen will be 4 and another one that means 5 so this is called methyl this is called ethyl and then propyl butyl pentyl hexyl and so on this is about the alkyl groups now let's go to our main point that is n iso and neo here n means normal iso means isomer neo means neoma when n iso and neo are used let's see when a compound like this one how many carbon atoms here five carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 5 other hands of this carbon atoms are satisfied with hydrogen atoms when the it's a straight chain no branches here then we will write n as prefix since it here there are five carbon atoms then we will write here n pentane when second carbon carries one alkyl group alkyl group means here methyl group then we will write here iso pen iso then it will be iso hexen because now the number of carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is isohexane if second carbon atom of this chain contains another methyl group then we will use this term that is neo neo as neo is used here as prefix but after neo what will be the another term that is now in this compound 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 carbon atoms so it will be now neo heptan this is all about n iso and neo when the 
compound is straight no branch is here then we will use n n pentane n butane n hexane if second carbon atom in the chain contains one methyl group then iso is used as prefix this is not here suppose and if second carbon of this chain carries another methyl group that is second carbon atom contains two methyl group this methyl and this methyl then neo is used now the name of this compound becomes neoheptane because in this carbon in this compound now the number of carbon atoms is seven so neoheptane so this is all about n iso and neo now let's move on to the next point geneva or IUPAC system my students now uh, we'll try to discuss Geneva or IUPAC system what is the meaning of IUPAC or full form of IUPAC International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry that is in 1892 international famous chemists met in an assembly in Geneva Switzerland to devise a rational system to name the organic compounds here mainly i'll try to discuss these three points prefix word root and suffix you already know about the word root now let's see the prefix suffix and what about the longest chain in iupac system there is a method to determine the longest chain you will know it in detail in the second lecture now we'll try to know about the prefix word root and suffix let's consider a compound other hands of carbons are satisfied with hydrogen that's why i didn't write here here uh, uh, suppose there is a methyl group here then what will be its name 2 methyl 1 2 3 4 5 pentane now 2 methyl is a kind of prefix here pent is word root you already know and n is a kind of suffix let's see another compound then it will be more cleared about the prefix word root and suffix let's see suppose here there are six carbon atoms and here there is a double bond then the carbon atoms of this compound are numbered as one two three four five six the carbon atoms are not numbered from this end because there is a system functional group carbon atoms are expressed by lower number so from this end carbon atoms are numbered now we'll try to know about the prefix word root and suffix so here how many carbon atoms six carbon atoms so word root here a hex we know word root and suffix it's a kind of alkene double bond so here n there will be in not n in so hexene and what is the prefix here with carbon number two there is a double bond that is double bond between carbon number two and carbon number three so it will be 2 hexene it will be capital letter so 2 hexene so this is used as prefix this is word root and this is suffix so to name the organic compounds in the system geneva or iupac these three terms are mostly important that is prefix word root and suffix why don't you know that is if carbon number one one carbon atom in the compound then meet 
टू इथ थ्री प्रोथ फोर ब्यूट फाइव पेंट सिक्स हेक्स सेवेन हेफ्ट एट अक्ट नाइन नन एंड टेन व्हाट इज टेन टेन इज डेक डी सी डेक सो दिस दिज आर द वर्ड रूट नाउ डे स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द लास्ट मेथड दैट इज डिराइव्ड सिस्टम इन डिराइव्ड सिस्टम व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिराइव एक्चुअली डिराइव मीन्स टू डिराइव ए कंपाउंड फ्रॉम एनदर कंपाउंड नॉर्मली एल्केन एंड एल्कोहल्स आर नेम्ड इन दिस सिस्टम लेट्स सी ए कंपाउंड दैट इज मिथेन A compound is derived by replacing this hydrogen by methyl group. Suppose, then what will be the compound? H, 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 and here methyl group. So it was before methane. From methane, replacing one hydrogen. by methyl group we get this compound replacing this hydrogen by methyl group now we can name this compound methyl methane if another hydrogen is replaced by another methyl group then we can name this compound dimethyl methane if another hydrogen is replaced by another methyl group then we can name it trimethyl methane that means these compounds are derived from this compound that's why it is called derived system and in case of alcohol we can see its name is carbenol that means another name of methanol is carbenol this is carbenol having three hydrogen atoms and one hydroxyl group this is carbenol when one hydrogen is replaced by one methyl group then this is called methyl carbenol if another hydrogen is replaced by another methyl group then it is called dimethyl carbenol if another another hydrogen is replaced by another methyl group then it is called trimethyl carbenol that means this compounds are derived from this compound that's why this system is called derived system so my dear students this is all about introduction to the nomenclature of organic compounds next class we will try to learn the nomenclature of alkanes thank you very much